Hey y'all, this is your girl Rika the Empress, and yes, I'm back in the building. Today we will be doing a love reading from my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Being that this is Mercury Retrograde, I want to do a reading for what your ex would like to say to you. I will be doing, uh, I will be using the, um, Light Sears Tarot deck and then the regular Tarot deck, the plain one. Um, trying to figure out what company it is by so I can show you guys the box. Um... Emmanuel. But we're going to get started. All right, spirit angels, ancestors, and guys, I come to you with a humble servant. Give me one second, guys. Sorry, I had to get my Palo Santo. Spirit angels, ancestors, and guys, I come to you with a humble servant looking for clarity and understanding. From my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're going to take a look at your past energy, your current energy, and then your possible outcome energy, as well as. Uh, the intentions that this person has for you doing Mercury retrograde uh, and what advice spirit has for you. We're going to get started, okay? All right. I'm also using a romance oracle deck to actually, uh, to actually give you some more insight into what is going on, too. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get started. What is the overall energy for my Capricorns and the person you connected with or will be connected with? Sun will rise. Okay, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, we're going to see what's going on. All right, uh, for your past energy, we got the Shrimp card, the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Uh, I see that somebody used the Anna Shrimp. They were very determined to get to a better place shrinking waters actually getting away from a situation that um was troubling them and i feel like what is not a wise energy that they're overcoming this obstacles i feel like somebody's very determined you got the shrimp in the night of wands so capricorn you could have been dealing with dealing with a, um a leo any fire sign really but strong leo energy but i feel like with your willpower, your inner strength, you actually transitioned away, meaning you got on that water Uber, like us uh, read the same, um, and you hauled ass. You got the Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So you were very determined. You you were very determined to get away from a situation. You got the Death card. You got the Hierophant. You could be connected with a Taurus or a Scorpio as well, Capricorn. And you got the Knight of Swords. Um, you got a lot of nights going on, Capricorn. This is your current energy. So, um, I feel like there is some type of ending or a transformation going on, a major change. With this, some type of higher level commitment that you have with someone. Um, traditionally, you could be married to this person. Or you could uh, be in a long-term committed relationship. But somebody made some type of decision. Somebody decided to take some action in the situation. Uh, that's what the death card is about. It was an impulse. It was a decision made logically. Um, I feel like with this energy, like somebody just jumped up and did it. But at the same time, they looked at it from a logical point of view. Yeah, this is somebody that is really leaving the situation alone. Um, definitely. All right. Let's see what's going on. You got the Seven of Wands for your possible outcome energy. You got the Ten of Swords. And you got the Three of Pentacles. So somebody is standing their ground. Somebody is standing their ground. Somebody is overcoming some things. I feel like somebody is standing their ground. They're protecting themselves from some type of painful endings, some type of betrayal, uh, or some type of partnership. Possibly some things that they were working on. The overall energy for this situation is the Queen of Pentacles. Your energy, Capricorn. So we're definitely going to see what's going on because I feel like you're trying to establish some things. I feel like you're trying to work on some things and get some things to fruition. All right, Justice, Ace of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Um... You're trying, you're going through a major transformation. Um, I feel like you're trying to bring some justice to a situation due to you feeling inspired. Um, there's a brand new inspiration within you due to whatever uh difficulties you were dealing with. 
it could be a possibility where you may have left a person alone or they may have left you alone. But I feel like there is some justice. I feel like this is karmic. I feel like there was some balance um, due to a brand new inspiration. You know, whatever. It could be a situation where your money was funny too. But I'm feeling like this is a situation where you may have ghosted somebody or someone may have ghosted you. I'm also feeling the energy of... Yeah, it was some justice that actually inspired somebody to leave a situation alone. Um, I'm also feeling the energy of maybe somebody is married or uh, it might be a court case. But we shall see. I'll clarify the justice card when it's signed. But I see that there's some justice coming your way, Capricorn. Um... Due to some type of inspiration, somebody's feeling inspired. There's some brand new inspiration. Somebody decided to take control of a situation. Okay, let's see what this strength card is in your past. Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Um, I see that there was a situation where there was some type of new love being offered to you. Um... I feel like whatever this new love was, um, I feel like there's some progress going with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're working hard on some things. This new love that's being entered into your life, I feel like you are making some slow and steady progress to some victory and some success with this situation. I feel like there's a situation where it's like you want a new opportunity, but you want somebody, where well, you coming out as a Knight of Pentacles, actually, so this is your energy, uh, Capricorn, that you offer somebody some love, and I feel like you were slowly progressing with this person and bringing some fortune with the willpower and the inner strength with the strength card. You were determined. You had a lot of willpower. All right, with the Six of Swords, you got the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, there were some conflicts going on. You felt need to defend yourself due to you standing your ground and protecting yourself. You stood your ground with this new opportunity. Um, it could be a situation where it could have been a job. It could have been some type of offer that somebody had, but I feel like... I feel like whatever challenges they was from the past, there was some challenges that you had from the past, some type of conflict. But I feel like you chose to stand your ground in the situation due to you knowing that some new opportunities are coming. What is this Knight of Wands? And you got the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So, um, there were some painful endings in the situation. And whatever these painful endings they provided a mental block to whatever what was going on with you and they inspired some type of um some type of anxiety i feel like this is a person that you were dealing with i feel like uh this person that you were dealing with had a lot of in and out behavior which caused you to have some painful Whatever what was going on with the situation with this unexpected ending that created a mental block and gave you all this anxiety, I feel like whatever what was going on with that situation, I feel like you're overcoming that because you got the Ten of Swords. So there was some type of ending to whatever mental situation that you were stuck on and whatever mental situation that you were overwhelmed. Uh, let's clarify this death card. The Lovers, the Devil, and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like you were very... This is your energy, by the way. Um, I feel like you had a strong attachment to someone. I feel like you was in love with someone. But there was some type of attachment going on. Uh, I feel like you were probably... To be honest with you, I feel the energy of somebody that was very scared. Somebody that was um, obsessing about some type of stability. 
no this is what's going on there was an ending in the situation you were in a higher level of commitment with someone you really love this person but uh this is your energy though you got the capricorn and the king of pentacles Okay, so that's what's going on. That's what the death card represents. Uh, you were really in love with someone. But I feel like there was an attachment. And with this King of Pentacles energy, I feel like you got grounded. I feel like that's what that death card represented. Uh, an actual rebirth. I feel like there was some type of long-term relationship that you had, that you were with. You probably really loved someone. And, uh whatever toxicity whatever attachment that you did have you actually grounded this you actually took control of this situation what is this hierophant the three of swords the knight of wands coming out again this person from your past is in your present moments um i see that you were in a relationship with this person but you broke up with them due to them being in and out due to some in and out behavior so from the beginning i say overcome obstacles but no uh, you you were very determined to get away from this person. That's what this is about. Um, you, or possibly the person you're connected with, uh, you could also be connected with a Taurus too. But um, I feel like you broke up with this person due to this person having some in and out behavior and being a manipulator. Yeah, I feel like you were heartbroken. I feel like there was some type of breakup. Due to this knight of wands running in and out with some type of manipulation. Let's see what this knight of swords is about. You got the will of fortune, the four of swords, and the star card. So there with the with this knight of swords, I feel like uh, it was you that took control. You're coming out as a knight of swords. I feel like you made some type of decision. This is your energy, by the way, Capricorn, with the will of fortune. I feel like there were some major changes going on in your life. I feel like you decided to. Leave the situation alone because the Knight of Swords is not going towards the um, the relationship is actually heading the way. I feel like there was a major change, but whatever when the Will of Fortune changed, it changed in your favor. Due to you um, with the Four of Swords and the Star, I feel like you want to actually heal. I feel like you're trying to heal and renew you, or just heal and renew whatever what was going on within you. Yeah, there was a positive change due to you taking out the time. With the four swords and the star, I feel like you took out the time to actually heal and, and bring some type of renewal to your life. That's why you left that situation alone. Let's see what your possible outcome. You got the seven of wands. Um, You got the eight of cups, the ace of swords, and the six of cups, seven of wands energy. So I feel like you're going to block this connection. I feel like you're protecting yourself. Um, I feel... You got the Eight of Cups energy, so you're definitely walking away due to whatever truth, whatever truth that you, 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 you're you seeking, whatever truth that you found, whatever idea that you had, whatever clarity, whatever new idea that you had about somebody from your past. You're going from the Eight to the Six. So somebody that... Yeah. Okay, so this is what's going on. Um... I feel like you, you're showing some type of resistance, but I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's the person that you're trying to block out of this situation with the seven of wands energy. Um, this is somebody that walked away, but now I see them having some type of idea about actually reconciliating with you, Capricorn, whatever is going on with this situation. The eight of cups energy could be a, a, a Scorpio too. They're showing some type of resistance, though. But this is the thing. This person is not going anywhere. Uh, the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Magician, the Page of Wands, and the Judgment. So, uh, whatever painful in this, whatever happened in this situation, it manifested somebody to actually communicate. Um, I feel like somebody wants to communicate due to them taking the time to reflect on things. Also somebody wants to actually make some type of decision i feel like somebody received a wake-up call yeah whatever happened you it could be you it could be the person that you're connected with but they're manifesting they are manifesting some type of communication 
due to them receiving a wake-up call or possibly making some type of decision. But whatever this judgment was, is is a change. They want to make a transformation, whatever this painful ending was. I don't know what's going on. You got the three of pentacles. You got the eight of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. There you go. Coming out again. This is your energy. Um, Somebody wants to put some hard work and dedication. They're trying to find a different way to repair things. Do see them trying to um, make some type of decision and, and, and make some type of movement with you. That's what's going on with this three of pentacles energy. Uh, this is all of your energy, though. I feel like you're trying to make better choices and decisions. Whatever things that you were working on, you're starting to make some type of movement, some type of transformation to whatever stability that you have going on. Um, somebody's going to speak. Somebody's going to talk to you. I don't know what's going on, but I'm letting you know now, um, Capricorn. Somebody's going to come in and speak to you <clears throat> with this Three of Pentacles energy. This could be somebody that you actually had some type of relationship with you were trying to establish. Uh, this could be your energy, too. What is the overall energy for my Capricorns? What advice do you have for them, Spirit? What advice do you have for Capricorn, Spirit? What advice? Okay, you got play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy one another. Yeah, I, I see it. Addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship. Leap of faith is take uh, is safe to take the move you're considering. Integrity. Does this situation align with your morals and values? Uh, this is some type of... I'm going to tell you right now, this is player type of behavior. Somebody, uh... Okay. Capricorn, play hard addiction. Somebody is really addicted to being a player. There's some type of toxicity. Um, this person is a player. Um, it's safe to, uh, it's safe to make the move you consider integrity. Does this situation align with your morals and values? Um, the leap of faith, you need to make sure that it actually aligns with what you want. And I think that's what's going on with you right now. Then you got patience. Everything will unfold in divine time and support. Uh, Spirit is saying be patient. The support you want, the support you need is going to come your way. There's some type of decisions that you're going to have to make very soon. But um, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I feel like that painful ending that happened, I feel like you did this. And that manifested somebody to take some type of initiative and gave them a wake-up call. Um, I'm going to ask some advice for Spirit. I'm going to ask Spirit, what do they think? All right, Spirit, any advice that you have for Capricorn? What is the overall energy for my Capricorns? You got the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Okay. Um, you got the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Um, this is you. You're coming out as a Page of Cups. Uh, Pinnacle Capricorn. Uh, take the time to learn what it is that you need to learn. This is a new opportunity for you to learn how to walk away from some type of burdens. This is a, a learning opportunity for you to walk away from some type of burdens. This is a lesson. The Page of Pentacles. This is an opportunity being offered. But I feel like this opportunity being offered to you is teaching you how to walk away from anything that was overwhelming you but all right guys thank you for tuning in i see you later